Hey guys, since I work on an open source project, I thought I would just w whisk you through my workflow when it comes to the stuff I do for a day job, the stuff I get paid to do. Um, so for example, in Unity, we need to notify a user when something happens, you know, keep them engaged. Uh, we use GitHub to manage the issue and obviously we chat a lot also in Slack, but ultimately the the, the summary should be in here. And obviously um, things get a little bit, um, what do you call it? A little bit weird because <laughs> we want to also um, capture or break down the problem rather and, and, um, and then use this sort of GitHub Kanban board to work out who's doing what and, 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 and sort of map out that particular feature. So the thing that I'm, I need to do is, is notifications. I mentioned this before in a previous video, but um, I guess my, my, my first workflow is, is to study other solutions. And, and, and annoyingly, AWS uh, SNS pretty much does what I want, but you can't customize their, their sort of messages that you opt in into. And obviously I did some research seeing the way Facebook do it and the way Twitter does it. I thought it was curious how they don't use radio boxes for their little toggles. And it's also quite painful how, even if you have it enabled for like, you know, one thing, down the road, some tick boxes might, they might add new notification types and then you're, and then you're opted in by default or something like that. But any, anyway, these are, these are bad examples. I think, I think Amazon is very responsible and by, by giving some really awesome best practices about how to email people. Um, and also their, their dev guide is also pretty awesome, I thought. Um, the fact that they, they recommend you, you do not uh, give a no reply address. And I thought it was also curious that they, they recommend using subdomains. Anywho, um, I wanted to focus on this part of the problem, removing non-engagers. So basically when I send an email, I need to know when someone's acted on it. So basically the, the email that I send, the URLs need to be tracked. So I need an API to track the email. I think the easiest way to do it is just to, it's just to have like a, like a prefix. So, so my next part of my workflow would be um, jumping into something like, you, um, something like Postman, and I would be like, let's see if I can imagine the URL. It's like say I wanted to redirect them to dev case, something like that, whatever. Oops, dev case whatever, this one. So I need to redirect them to a URL. Um, I need to know who the user was that acted on that. So we identify them like that. And then what else do I need to do? Probably need to track the ID of the notification. Um, they're gonna look like this, I think. And I wonder if I need something else besides these three values. What I'm redirecting to, the user who clicked on it, and the ID of the notification. Do I need anything more than that? Maybe I need to know the medium that they clicked on from. Like maybe they clicked on from, from, S from, a, from their mobile, from, from SMS. So maybe I need to know that like medium email. I, I, I mean, thinking about the way Amazon do, I think, I wonder if it's encapsulated. No, they have a topic and then they have a protocol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I'm, I'm just fumbling through this just to give you guys an idea of my workflow. So anyway, I, th I think I'll just leave it there. I guess I can just mess around with it later. Um,
Oh, sad. So you can actually mock the whole API with uh, Postman, um, but I don't have a pro account, I think, for this. And But I like doing it here because you can see, you know, the escaping and all that stuff is done right by default. So you can have a, you can have a good idea of what it's going to look like. So I've gone for this, for this E, this E for engagement. I like to keep it short. So this is what the URL looks like when a user clicks on it from an email. So let me quickly implement this thing because obviously it didn't, it doesn't work. Um, how do I do that? So let's call it, I'm just going to copy an, an existing project. I'm going to call it engagement. Um, and then I just remove all this other stuff that's here that I don't need. Probably don't need that. Or that. Or that. Or that. I'm leave that there. Or that. Or that. Or that. Ugh. Do I need database access? I don't think so. Maybe it would, it would have been a better idea just to start from scratch. But this is the way I usually work anyway. Funk main. Let's go down, right down to here. I don't think I need to do any of this stuff. Uh, does this need to be protected? I don't think so. So let's. Um, so what is the handle going to be called? Oh, this is a get. To get right. Yeah. Uh, redirect. Uh, track engagement. Whatever. And then I need to implement this. And I can never remember the signatures I use. Or I was just copy and paste from somewhere else. So now I need to um, pass out the the URL and redirect them. Uh, gosh. I think I want to... TJ has this li library. I wonder if he implement... TJ Holloway Chuck. Where am I using this project already? Yeah, I'm using this one. Temporary redirect. I guess temporary redirect is what I want. Actually, add up. Go lang. Redirect URL. Oh, is it that easy? So engagement main uh, 
Let's just go something simple. One of my domains. So now I run gin to see if this is kind of working. Ah, looks like it is. Okay, now I need to deploy this. Um, I'm going to call this AP. Let's do a search and replace. Engagement. Yeah, it's going to be called E for short. So I don't think I need any of these things, do I? Boom. So let's do uh, make dev. So this is using eight picks up, and hopefully it will even create. Oh, that's wrong. Hopefully, it will even create the domain for me. Yeah, I just want it nice and short. Nice and short, please. Make dev. It takes a bit of time for it to be provisioned by CloudFormation. But in the, in the meantime, I can just implement the redirect properly. So I guess what needs to happen here is that we need to uh, track, oh God, track user notification ID, medium, URL somewhere. And then URL, how do I get that? New URL. New URL is like um, pass. Is it awful? Could it be that simple? What's wrong? Oh, it's a, it's a array. Anyway, I, I think you get the point. Um, where am I going to track this stuff? Probably Aurora database. I actually got a serverless invite, an Aurora serverless invite just last week. Um, let's see if this works. Oh, I, I guess I got to complain if it's, if it's empty. If new URL is, is empty. Again, I never remember how to throw an error unless I'm looking at something else. Mm. Missing you. I also probably should validate the URL, shouldn't I? Oh, God. Sorry. Do 
Just checking my mail. Constant interruptions. Um. Oops. Index out of range. Okay. If uh, len new URL is equal to zero or does that work? Missing URL, okay. So this is this is me. This is not how you do it, is it? Go lang pass uh, get parameter. This is how you do it. This is how you do it. All hands in the air. Wave it like you just don't care. Come on. Anyway, I think I've basically got the first version of uh, engagement working. How would you how would you log this, guys? How would you do it? Because it's gotta be SQL, doesn't it? MySQL will already be insert into into a table. How come it's got my school driver here? Oh, that needn't be here. I probably don't need to use response or, or even pat, but I do, I do find these little cr little crutches quite nice. Of course, with 17 minutes. I'm, well, anyway, I mean, 17 minutes. Hopefully you learned something. <laughs> I mean, this is what people get paid a lot to do. Come on. I want you to, okay, I'm just gonna, I'm probably gonna snap and just quickly show you the finished thing. Speed it up now, speed up. My colleagues are also gonna come co-work with me. Now maybe I should think about if people abuse this thing. I guess people don't know the notification IDs, do they? Ah, you can't trick me. Well, actually, notification IDs are not that opaque. Hmm, how do I check that this is a really valid thing? Maybe I need to sign it? Make the links expire, that sucks. Um, yeah, how would you protect this APR from abuse? Please comment below. So to summarize, I use, I use GitHub, I use AWS, I use Postman, I use Vim and Vimgo. I use Jin to help with the local iterations. And I use Apex apps to deploy. Ah, it's deployed. Probably want to do that one more time. So now if I go curl,
https uh, edevunity.com Cannot reserve the host. Okay, this is a little bit painful. This is... Dig at that thing. E.dev.unity.com It's responding. It's not responding actually, is it? Oh, it is responding. Yeah, it is working. Okay, now that is a serverless API. It will be super responsive and work really well <laughs> and scale and all the rest of it. And I can just have a look at the uplogs here. I mean, theoretically, I could I could log um, these other parameters just with um, you know log dot something, and and they'll be captured in a, in a CloudWatch um, JSON string, which I can later query. But that's kind of lazy, and querying CloudWatch can be a bit weird. So um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that serverless API creation at work workflow. If you have any improvements or comments, please let me know. And thank you for watching.